First, let's understand the business challenge our customers face more deeply. And due to added product complexity, customers are facing much more pressure on productivity. When companies look around, they can find evidence of complexity in all the objects and processes and, and the way they work. Here on this left part of the slide, you see an example from some of our customer engagements that really highlights this complexity that they're all facing. You know, you, you see it in the tens of millions of files that are located all over the place in various repositories, or the number of, number of approvals that are required to get a design release, or the evidence of the number of design centers or centers of excellence that make up a product development organization. And then on the right, we can see that there's all this non-value-added time that engineers spend in a given day. And we've, we've shown this several times as a recurring theme, obviously. Uh, and this actually came from a study by Tech Clarity, where companies were asked to rate the time they spend on these activities and classified whether it's value-add or non-value-add. And I'm sure you guys can relate to these types of processes that are considered non-value-add. You know, we spend a lot of time managing files, having internal meetings, and just following up on general issue statuses and approvals. It's a lot of non-value-added time. Now, to understand the value of Inovia program and project management, you must understand how cycle time impacts a company's profits. Now, look at a classic profit curve to see why cycle time optimization is so important. All products incur upfront costs before revenue is generated. And as a product grows and matures, revenue should make up for the upfront costs and profits should then nicely accumulate. And towards the end of the product life cycle, companies try to exit before revenues decrease below costs and, and profits erode. Now, if product development management processes are adopted that allow cycle times to shrink, then product launch occurs sooner which allows revenue to also be obtained sooner. And in effect, this profit curve shifts left and can even increase because the company is able to capitalize on market opportunities sooner before competition can react. Now, when discussing project management best practices, you'll often talk about the concept of linking product development data to project execution. In effect, project management becomes data-driven by being linked with the product portfolio. When the two processes are disconnected with different technologies, there are multiple projects being defined and tracked, but they are not grounded in the reality of the product data that is being created as part of that project. And as a result, it's difficult to understand or contain execution issues related to product planning decisions or portfolio issues related to execution problems. Now suppose a single technology is used to permanently associate the definition and development of the product portfolio with the tracking of the project used to govern it. The implications of portfolio decisions can be quickly assessed against project schedule, and as a result, a project manager is taking action to resolve issues with a full understanding of the impact of the product portfolio. Inovia delivers this unified approach to product development, fully linking product deliverables to the product schedule. To further understand what makes Inovia unique, Let's discuss four best practices to pursue in order to reduce non-value-added activities and achieve zero delays. Now, this might sound obvious, but how often do project teams lose sight of their project goals? For projects to introduce products to market, it is critical that the project team fully understands the market goals of the product. This means that each project member understands how his or her task relates to one or more requirements that must be fulfilled. Now, this understanding of the product's market goals influences the scope of the project or what must be delivered. Project managers must fully understand the scope in order to determine an appropriate schedule and resource assignment. Scope is obviously constrained by business constraints such as cost, and as such, a balance must be struck between how many resources of varying skill levels are assigned and when they are available. Project managers are often disconnected from the actual work being performed. Now, ideally, the days of verbal or manually communicated updates between a doer and a manager are eliminated, and the project task status is updated automatically as work is completed with full traceability to the work performed. This can be thought of as governing or managing a project invisibly. Now, the concept of invisible governance leads to the last best practice, which is the ability to reveal risks based on real-time information. When a project manager is able to fully investigate why a task is late by reviewing the work that has been performed, an opportunity exists to identify other potential problem areas in the product that may not have been exposed yet via the updating of project tasks. Let's now investigate each one of these best practices in more detail. 
What does it mean to connect project deliverables to the product portfolio? All right, well, suppose the system used for product development is separate from the tools and processes used to manage the product development. Now, this separation of processes and tools often leads to a serial approach to product development, with one project used to manage one product launch. In effect, the use of separate systems makes it more difficult to identify common tasks to develop similar aspects of like products. By missing this opportunity, launching the full range of product offerings stretches into multiple years. Now suppose a single system is used to manage how products are similar. Well, project managers can also define a single project to develop the full range of product line variations and avoid serial launches over a longer period of time. While the first product may come to market a little later, the full portfolio launch is compressed into a shorter amount of time, creating efficiencies to expand into new markets much sooner. Balancing scope, schedule, and resources is a basic tenet of project management. Now, most project management tools, unfortunately, just manage resource assignments, which influences the schedule. Scope is typically defined offline or in a disconnected system. Now, what exactly is a project scoped? Well, it's most often expressed in terms of product requirements. You know, getting the resource assignments and schedule correct the first time is usually not a problem. And a skilled project manager will optimize resources and schedule to deliver the products that lead to the highest combination of revenue and margins. However, what happens if requirements change? Do the project managers have enough understanding to adjust the schedule and resources as needed? When traceability is established between the product requirements and the project to launch the product, project managers are immediately alerted to a proposed change in scope. And this allows full assessment of the schedule and cost impact of a scope or requirement change before proceeding. All right, now let's look at best practice number three around governing the project invisibly. Now, firms can no longer rely on manually collecting project status when facing this ever-increasing need of concurrent development with complex product portfolios and faster and faster timelines. And the time spent searching for and transforming data and conducting physical meetings with numerous attendees, this must be avoided and eliminated. This is best achieved by making the updating of a project status part of the same system that's used to develop and manage the content delivered to fulfill that project task. In effect, project management capabilities are put directly in the context of the tools of users, so reporting status is not seen as a burden. Reliance on manual collection of status is then reduced or completely eliminated. This best practice of governing the project invisibly is most important for creating a lasting impression on your customer. So now let's take some time and use our customer facing slides to help really understand how Anovi functionality delivers on this best practice. Now every program and project management software solution has a strong schedule management and resource assignment to complete the tasks. Consider this baseline that Inovia just has to reach this Me Too level. Now, as discussed when this best practice was introduced, what makes Inovia unique is the ability to connect deliverables to their respective tasks. You know, deliverables such as requirements, 3D design data, and other documents. Now, in this way, the progress of every deliverable is automatically updated. Now, this has a profound impact on execution efficiency. It eliminates the need for your project managers to manually track the status of every task. More importantly, it allows the project manager to further investigate how the task has actually been completed by reviewing the files and data associated with the task deliverable. And as a result, surprises are reduced or eliminated with no more outdated and incorrect information reflected in the project schedule. A company's project managers get real-time project status updates without time-consuming manual efforts. And this is what we call invisible governance. All right, this video shows how Inovia provides a real-time project status to a company's project managers. They can see the task burndown rate, the consolidated status of all the project tasks, and a high-level view of the project status. It's all done automatically. There are also dashboards to see a list of all the issues and risks, uh, and Inovia can also be used to track the project budget and to perform assessment checkpoints for overall project health.
Now this dashboard is completely data driven and it's pulling data coming from the project, the tasks, as well as the work the project manager does to manage the project. And here you can see under the execution area where the project manager is now spending time making their assessments, dealing with issues, managing risks, doing the real project work instead of chasing down status of tasks and status of deliverables. Let the system do all that non-value added work and now let the project manager focus on the value added work that they can do. Now of course there is a detailed project schedule, the work breakdown structure with the complete schedule and the dependencies and completion of tasks and so on and resource assignments but you also have access to the deliverables that are associated to each task. So there's a column here showing the deliverables, the status of those, and the, actually you can click and open those up to take a look at them and view the latest version of the deliverable and actually see the current status for yourself. Now think of how much time a company's project managers and executives can save by having access to this real-time status of a project. It's online. There's no files that need to be shared. It's completely data-driven, and they can view it and see the real-time status at any time. We also have project folders to organize and track all these deliverables related to the project itself. Now, the project members have their own dashboard that shows them the deliverables that they're working on and how they're doing on their tasks, and they can easily drill down to see the status of individual tasks and also change the pro uh, percentage of progress or percentage complete as they go. They can click on the deliverable, they can click and work on it, they can do all this from one area, and they don't need to search for what they need to work on or go into different systems. It's all in one interface to make their job easier and to make them more productive. And all again, this is all data-driven, and if they actually have data-driven CAD with CATIA 3D experience, they can actually bring this right into the native interface, and we'll, we'll show that next. So here, again, with a data-driven approach, we can have a different way to look at the project through uh, a designer type of context, where the designers can access project information right on their desktops. So they can look at all the elements associated with the project, such as the 3D design data, that's a deliverable. They can see all of the folders that contain project-specific information and documents that are related to the project. They can see any associated specifications or any other connected deliverable. And all of the tasks associated to the project. Everything can be seen in context to the project's work breakdown structure where these relationships can be made through drag and drop actions. For example, if the designer is assigned a task to model a product, they can easily drag the design data right on top of the task to create the relationship and enable invisible governance. And think how much more productive your engineers will become when they can access all their project information from one place in the context of where they're going to do their design. Now, let's take a look at this in action, in a demonstration. Here you see an entirely new way to work in the context of a project. Here a worker wants to take an existing document on their disk and connect it as a deliverable to the system design task. By merely dragging and dropping the document onto the system design task, two things happen. One, the document is automatically checked into the system. So the user doesn't even have to worry about that data management. And two, this document is now connected as a deliverable to this task. You can then see this document in context to the system design task. You can see the relationship on the turntable. And you see there's another task here which is release for review. Now this user had already done a designer view and wants to connect the designer view to the actual task so that invisible governance can be broadcast upwards to the project manager for overall progression and tracking. So this designer view can be dragged and dropped and connected now as a deliverable. So this bottom-up approach allows the users to see the tasks that they're responsible for and to start to connect all the work they're doing so that the project manager doesn't have to track them down. Because the project manager can now see in the work breakdown structure these deliverables automatically 
uh, in their view because the user made that attachment that you saw previously. And this all rolls into the project dashboard. So you can see now this middle section for the deliverables. You can see the tasks of all the deliverables. And the project manager can narrow this down and, for example, look at deliverables due this month. And this will show the deliverables, including the two deliverables that were just added by that user. So now we have full invisible governance in this data-driven project. Now let's take a look at the fourth best practice around revealing risks. Now this diagram shows a commonly known issue. You know, as a development project progresses, the cost of resolving an issue increases because decisions are physically locked in. Now this particular figure is provided by NASA, but the problem is the same regardless of the industry. When an issue is discovered early during requirements or design, resolving it is simply a matter of reaching an agreement and updating the electronic data files. But when issues are found later on, during testing or in operations, an issue's resolution may require changing machinery that's already been built, or redesigning a product, or what have you. So how can the choice of a project management tool impact how issues are revealed and resolved? Well, think about how we described invisible governance in the previous best practice. The tasks were not just being marked as complete. They were being complete as actual product development content was being created as a deliverable to the task. So this provides the project manager with incredible insight in regards to the true status of the project. Suppose a project task was late and the project manager was able to easily investigate the design file associated with it and all of the decisions or issues associated with the life cycle. A project manager may be able to recognize how the same issues could affect other aspects of his project and take preemptive steps to avoid the risk entirely.